Today I'm taking this car from Raggedy Version to Rally Ready. Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew. On the bench today is a 1 to 55 scale Willy BMW M3 325i Turbo. As you can clearly see, it's not new. It's been raced to the edge of the tabletop and beyond by the looks of things. But under all that chip paint and peeling decals, I envision a rally car that could stop your heart. I've amassed so many castings over the last four years since getting started in the hobby that I truly don't remember where this particular one comes from. I've bought lots of large eBay lots, I've had many mail calls, but I always mark the mail call cars so I don't forget who they come from. This one was just in a drawer of random European cars, and today it gets its turn on the hobby bench. Welly might be a new name for some of you. They're plentiful over here in Europe, and I think they do a decent representation of the real car. Mine has all the regular indications of being play-worn, but everything is salvageable. These plastic pieces will get a good cleaning, maybe a touch-up here or there. It's a plastic base. They have a unique sort of suspension system, but the tires come out very easily. I'll give you a quick close-up. I'm going to bag them and tag them, but I'll be upgrading to a set of Samad wheels. And that's all I've got for show and tell for you today. It's kind of the basic set of pieces. The M3 is a high-performance version of the BMW 3 Series, developed by BMW's in-house motorsport division. M3 models have been produced for every generation of the 3 Series since the E30 M3 was introduced, around the mid-80s if I recall correctly. This 325i was in the 1985-1993 production line. The stock 325 had a 2.5 liter engine with about 180 horsepower, while the M3 version sported a 3.2 liter rated at 250 horsepower. The M series have different suspension, some unique body parts, and a few different interior pieces. It was first available in the US in 1995. Having merely stripped the old paint away, you can see that the actual casting is in pretty good nick. But I give it the same amount of attention as every other car when it comes to bare metal detail with... I use a wire brush attachment followed by this abrasive wheel, which gives it a pretty nice shine. I'm looking for casting lines and any other defects. Came up empty, so it's into the degreaser to take away any of my fingerprints or residual dust or filings. I give it a quick primer using a basic spray can from the hardware store. I'll let that set up for a couple of hours before I handle it again. I trust you'll stick with my channel to catch the next couple of videos coming up that include a classic Jaguar Mark 10. My entry for the custom diecast invitational is a 71 Plymouth GTX. And the April theme for the Four Horsemen is many monster trucks. I've also got one of my first Johnny Lightning castings on the table. And Phase 3 of the super huge ginormous build-off is slated for mid-May. Why not give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button? That's the very best way to help support me, and I would appreciate it very much. Thanks. I've come to have a fondness for rally cars since I started in the hobby because I think it makes one of the most dramatic transformations that you can do. So I've masked mine up for three different colors to go on top of the base white body paint. You see the hood is done in a high gloss black. That worked out with nice, beautiful, crisp, sharp lines. 
while that dries up, I give the plastic parts a little bit of a treatment with an electric toothbrush and some hot soapy water. That takes care of the chassis, the glass, and the interior. I've made up my own set of decals here using some basic desktop publishing software and sponsor logos I got from Google Images. You can see I painted some red on the roof and blue on the trunk in the spoiler, so I have to lay down some ghost white decals over those bold colors. They need to dry thoroughly before I revisit those areas. On the all white doors is a long one piece decal with the racing number. Some of the sponsors that go on there, I just tried to make it look colorful. You got a couple of moments after you lay a decal down to adjust it with your finger while it's still slippery and then I smooth it out with a cotton q-tip and make any other little adjustments that are necessary before it dries. And it looks like that. For my friend David Jones, a Chick-fil-A sponsor of the rear quarter pedal. Now for the BMW logo on the roof. Did you know that was a stylized airplane propeller? Some M3 stripes on the chin spoiler. I touch up the grill with a little bit of black wash to bring out the details. Today's community shout out goes to the YouTube channel called Hot Wheels Pleasure, where you'll find a really interesting variety of exotics and Forza race cars. I always leave a link in the description so you can find these channels if they're new for you, and I sure hope you'll follow up on that. Willie did not put an overabundance of detail on the undercarriage, so there's not a whole lot of detailing to be done, but I do highlight the drive shaft and the oil pan. The silver on the taillights will be covered up, add a little bit of color, and my channel logo. I like to use Tamiya Clear Red for the taillights. Now this old scratched up windshield needs a little bit of love. In this case I think just some scratch remover plastic polish will suffice so I apply that with a q-tip. Give it a little two minute workout and a rub down to take any residue off. Big improvement. Because it's a rally car, I'm going to put some racing harnesses in there. These aren't decals, I print them on paper. Using a little bit of Mod Podge, just grease up the seats. Press the paper printed seat belts into place and cover them liberally with the Mod Podge. That's what it looks like wet. 30 minutes later, it's dry, and it's a really cool effect. Here's the original wheels. You can see that little ridge for faster racing. I've upgraded to a set of Samed white-rimmed rally wheels. They got real rubber on them. They're the same size as before, and they pop right back into that welly suspension. Look at it go! I encourage you to visit www.samadwheels.com and go fishing there. They've got a great variety of custom wheels. No doubt they've got exactly what you need for your next couple of customs. I'm ready to put the little beamer back together. Here's a quick look at all the parts in their finished state, though still separate. Beautiful clear coat shine on there. Refurbished glass. That looks good. There's my racing harnesses that I like. And minimal detail on the chassis, but a nice set of upgraded wheels. This is as basic a reassembly as you can hope for. The glass pops in, just needs to be Secure under that little ridge on the dashboard. There's no rivet, no glue needed. Interior goes in upside down. And you just position the chassis on there over the two screw holes. 
These were drilled out and fitted at the very beginning of the process, so they're guaranteed to be a good fit. But just one more check on the wheels. It's perfect. Let's have a closer look. I do like these rally cars. I think they're fun and creative. I kind of made up my own livery for this one, incorporating the requisite BMW colors. I like the new wheels. Not too much detail on the tailgate or the bottom, but it's going to make a great toy. Here's what I started with. Chip paint, peeling decals, worn out wheels, scuffed glass, pretty sad condition overall. Now it's looking beautiful. I'm really happy with how it turned out. You can see it now from all different angles and I invite you to leave a respectful comment below to tell me if you enjoyed this video. What might you have done with the 325i Turbo that might have been different? I made a custom pack because this is super kit friendly. There's no 3D printable parts that can break off or be swallowed accidentally. This will go into a box and several times a year I take them to different places that collect toys and I ensure that they are given away for free, never sold. This will be a gift for a little boy or girl. Thanks for visiting my channel today. Come on back soon and often. It's coffee time.